Uh, 47 Hotel, traffic departing the parallel is uh, also northbound departure Bonanza. We're my through and left, clear for takeoff. Through and left, uh, clear for takeoff, and we have the traffic side, 357 Hotel. One of the most fun things to do with a private pilot license is to just hop into the plane with a few friends on the weekend, fly to an awesome small city that would otherwise be hours away and get some great food. In the aviation community this is commonly known as the $100 hamburger, but it's really so much more than that. General Aviation connects you to a world of small cities and towns, each of them a special gem for you to discover. Today, we are departing Retail View from 31 Left to fly to Auburn, about 30 nautical miles northeast of Sacramento. Flying this departure is always an amazing experience. You often have to balance terrain clearance and avoiding wake turbulence from jets crossing overhead. This requires concentration during the climb out, but it also makes for some amazing views of the Suno area and especially Calaveras Reservoir. On a busy day like today, there's a lot of traffic flying in and out of the Bay Area, so I make sure to always request flight following. It helps keeping you and others safe, while also making the ride so much more enjoyable as you have that additional safety net of someone watching over you. However, I also always make sure to be looking out for traffic myself. There's another one in front of us. Oh, I think I got them inside there. Right down that somewhere else. Is one game off? Traffic inside, no factor, 231. Could be on the side of us now, a little bit below. 234, you have the opposite direction in traffic at 500 feet above you. Roger. That's that guy, where's yeah, the that's, one? That's the other guy. November 4, 7 Hotel, Connect Approach, 120.9. 120.9, or 357 Hotel. Oakland Approach, Skyhawk 357 Hotel, 7100, climbing 7500. November 3547 Hotel, Narcal, Roger, Stock Town Altimeter, 3001. 3001, 357 Hotel. Once we pass Livermore, the radio becomes much less crowded and we are free to climb to our cruising altitude of 7500 feet, sit back, relax and enjoy the great views and different terrain of Northern California. There is so much to see from this altitude, and on a clear day like this, you can see miles and miles. That is a Sacramento executive. That's where I did my uh, solo, my first solo cross country journey. Uh, well, I landed, grabbed the can of coke, and flew back. That's so like the most expensive can of coke <laughs> I ever had. Yeah. Delta Charlie, Delta Charlie. Auburn Municipal Airport, automated weather observation one eight five seven Zulu. Wind variable at six knots. Visibility more than one zero. Sky condition clear below one two thousand. Temperature two niner Celsius. Dew point seven Celsius. Altimeter three zero zero five inches of mercury. Remark density altitude three five zero zero. Car three five four seven hotel starting the descent. Number 47 Hotel, Roger. Number 47 Hotel, North Cal. Uh, 347 Hotel, go ahead. Number 47 Hotel, turn 10 degrees right for traffic. 10 degrees to the right, uh, 347 Hotel. I honestly cannot find that guy. It's like 06, it's like 600 feet below here, I don't see it. No, I don't see them either. Yeah, this should be like over the lake, over here. Oh, there, I see it, right at our altitude-ish. 
Harbor traffic, Sky Rock 2547 Hotel is 8 miles to the south, entering uh, left downwind, uh, 25, over. All right, so checklists, got the approach, external lights as required. Uh, fuel selector is both. Traffic, seats, most upright position. Downwind, Everybody sitting properly, seat buckled up. Yep. All right, let's make sure landing takes lights all about off. All right. Nestled in the foothills of the Sierra Mountains, Auburn makes for a memorable approach. The North Fork American River carving a deep ravine into the mountain and the Forest Hill Bridge connecting both sides are just two of the amazing sights on your way into Auburn. Auburn traffic, Skyrock 47 Hotel turning final 25, Auburn. If you go here by plane, as a pilot or as a passenger, be prepared for the upsloping runway, which may make you feel like you're crashing into the runway. Auburn's airport has an active community and a great restaurant on field. There's a lot to see at the airport, including some very old planes. It can get pretty busy, especially on the weekends, so if you go there, be it by plane or by a car, make sure to bring some time. On this flight, we'll only stop to get some lunch, but I definitely plan on coming back and checking out that amazing town that is considered a California historical landmark. Traffic, Skyhawk 47 Hotel, departing runway 25, Auburn. Final looks clear. Everybody ready? Yep. Yep. When taking off at Auburn in the summer, there often is a pretty high density altitude. Even though the runway is pretty long for a small 172, under these circumstances, I always opt for the short field takeoff technique that I showed you in my last video, just so that I have that extra bit of runway and can gain altitude faster. Even with that, we needed almost half of the 3,700 feet runway, and if I ever do experience an engine failure during takeoff, I'd rather have enough runway in front of me to make it down again. Snorkel approach, Skyhawk 3547 Hotel, via our request. Skyhawk 3457 Hotel, North Calico, Town Town Area is 2993, say request. 2993, uh, we are Cessna Skyhawk uh, 172, and we would like to get uh, via our flight following to Retail View Romeo Hotel Victor at 6500. 3547 Hotel, Squad 0374. 0374, 3547 Hotel. Did you spot the mistake in the communication while picking up flight following? The controller refers to us as 57 Hotel and I didn't spot the mistake in the initial call. Our full call sign is 3547 Hotel. A minor mistake that can lead to confusion during handoffs, but also something that is easily missed with the quality of analog radio communication. That is why it took multiple handoffs until the controller spotted the mistake and clarified the correct call sign with us. I made a mental note to pay more attention to the initial call sign readback in the future. Number 47 Hotel, verify your full call sign, November 3547 Hotel. Affirmative, 3547 Hotel. 47 Hotel, Roger. The flight back from Auburn into the Bay Area again leads us over very remote areas. A beautiful thing about flying is that you can gain a completely new perspective of things and places that might look boring and empty from the ground are really beautiful when watched from 6,500 feet. We spent most of the flight back watching the landscape below moving by and chatting. Quiet phases of flight, especially when in empty airspace, are always a good time for flying companions to ask a lot of questions and I always enjoy giving friends an insight to aviation and airplanes. Do you always rent a specific plane or just a model like it? It's the same model and like, yeah, like same model gear and stuff, basically. Um, I do have like two that I like if they are available that I, I take these because they have like the four monitor GPS. Um, if not, there's like three others as well, they're fine. That's good. So yeah, like 
if possible, I'll take 357 Hotel or 200 Niner Charlie. So on that last time, they're both at the bigger, more modern GPS that you can pair with four flight and six stuff. I love it. The taker. I'm going to give you vectors to find Well, with like Bluetooth and everything, right? It's like, if you want, it's right. easier. Like, you do your flight plan. If you need to enter that in the old uh, uh, GPS, you just have that turning wheel and you do like every letter, enter, next letter, enter, next letter. If you have a flight plan with like five or ten pound points on route, that takes you like 15 minutes. Yeah, while the engine is running, like right. you're paying for that, right? Like, entering your flight plan just costs you like 60 bucks. As we approach Reed Hill View, the descent brings us very close to the rising terrain and I always love the view getting close to the ground. And since we're flying along a mountain ridge, there's always plenty of space in case of an engine failure, in which case you can follow the terrain into the valley. I had a blast doing this quick trip to Auburn and I think my friends did too. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do, please like and subscribe and don't forget to click the bell to get notified when I post new videos like this. If you would like to see more of this, please leave a comment. Thanks for watching.